Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. Welcome back. Today we are filming a hair tutorial on how I curl my hair. So I just got out of the shower, um, I blow dried my hair, washed my hair, did the whole nine yards, um, and I'm about to curl it. So I have perfected the perfect curl for this length of hair. Um, it took me a while, but I didn't want to film this until I was like 100% confident with like the curl that I like to go for with this shirt of hair. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I use to wash my hair. And before I blow dried my hair, blue dry, blow dried, whatever, you get the gist. And then <laughs> I'm going to be using my Chi straightener. It is on and ready to go. So once we are ready for that, we will be using this. And it's gold, like, what? Love this thing. Um, I can try to link it down below. It's the Chi Air. I don't really know. I've got it forever ago, but they're probably the same thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I wash my hair with and what I used, what kind of oils I use on my hair, and then we will get started. So, if you guys know me personally, I literally rave about these products so much. It's the OGX Argan Oil. Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. I literally use their whole range. Um, I have the lotion, I have the dry shampoo, and I have the oil that I'm going to be showing you guys, like, literally now. Um, but I just love the smell of it. It smells so good. Any of these, like, the OGX products are just so amazing, and I just love them so much. Um, I just feel like they actually work on my hair. They don't, like, strip my hair. I don't, I don't feel like they... Do anything bad to my hair I feel like they just help my hair that's how I grow my hair the fastest and keep it the healthiest so I love these two products um, I just will use their range forever and ever and ever I will not switch I just love them so much I use the weightless healing dry oil I showed this in uh, my birthday vlog before I blow dried my hair um, but this stuff really just helps with everything um, my hair gets super frizzy especially when um, it snows or like when there's a lot of humidity using this for that because it helps with flyaways, prevents split ends and yeah I just blow dried it after that um, it kind of gives it a nice blowout it gets some volume and stuff so this is my hair just blow dried I like to go in and do my hair in sections so we're gonna get started so I take a section about this big of hair and I leave like a good amount left and then the tricky part is that people don't know how to, use, to curl their hair with a straightener um this is gonna help so much some people use barrel curls for the cute like wavy curls I don't know how never get it never gotten it this just has how I have done it my whole life so let me show you so, if I look over here, it's because I have my mirror over here now, because I can't see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to take um, a piece about this big, and I like to do my front pieces first, because I just think they're the easiest to do. And I'm going to take it and clamp it up here, twist it about 360, and go down. And there's that. I leave the ends a little bit straight, but I do go back in and curl them a little bit, but I don't curl it like fully hard. I just kind of like go in and kind of just curl the ends a little bit. And then I do finger brush it out like that. And then we grab a second piece and we do the same. So I'm starting a little bit higher on I'm starting a little bit higher on the like towards the crown towards my head just because I like it to be wavier at the bottom and kind of tighter at the top so it kind of lets it all flow down so we're starting I think it's like a 180 turn not 360 sorry yeah 180 <laughs> I don't clamp too hard on the piece of hair because you do want um, you don't want them to be super tight I'm gonna take another piece and sometimes I like to straighten um, the pieces beforehand if they are a little bit wonkier. So I'm going to start 3, 180. Why do I want to say 360? doesn't make any sense, Taylor. You're ridiculous. So, 
I didn't like take my time coming down. I kind of just like roll through it really fast. Um, these back pieces are so hard to get to so sometimes I just take like the easy way out and just kind of curl them a little bit because they are so hard to do. Um, and I don't want them to be super tight in the back or else it just looks kind of odd. And with the back pieces, like these back top pieces, I will definitely curl the bottom ones. I'll show you what I do with them because I literally cannot see them. And if you have hair that falls out and doesn't get like the same curl, just kind of go back through and do just like little pieces on their own. Sorry guys, got interrupted. My brother just came home. All good in the hood. Um, so yeah, so with these back pieces that just kind of hang down here, I don't really like to necessarily full on curl them because they are so short and I just don't like to do it. So I take them all in the front and kind of straighten them out and then do the curl like this so that I'm just getting the bottom half and not getting top half because it just looks the same. So that is it for this side. And I don't ever do curls that go towards my face. I never have liked that look ever. So that's just a personal thing. If you want to take this and you like curls towards your face, um, you can definitely do that. I don't like to do that. That's just me. So with this side, I take this front piece, straighten it a little bit, and then I'm going to curl it away from my face and pull it down. And then straighten out a little bit. Oh, my dog. I'll wait. 2,000 years later. Okay. Sorry about that. My dog finally shut up. So, we're going to continue on the side. Brushing these through, and if there's some pieces that are curled more than the others, I just will straighten it out. This side, I just don't like to curl, so it always just looks different than the other side but yeah it's really easy when you curl your hair with a straightener I personally would rather do it over like a barrel just because a barrel for me is so hard to like wrap these little pieces around and like reach around with the barrel like it's just so hard for me I'm not maybe like as talented with my hands as I should be that came out wrong <laughs> ah! not what I meant okay not what I meant I'm gonna take down another layer and we'll just go from there. So it's just the same <clears throat> process that I do every time. So I just take these front little pieces and put them up because I do something different with these front pieces than I do with the back pieces. So with this layer, I you can kind of see that it's a bigger layer. I'm going in to brush my head. Where's my hairbrush? Oh, it's here. So I brush this top layer ooh, ooh, ooh. and I just kind of do the same thing that I do that I did I kind of straighten out these pieces 180 pull it down like so and you'll get these like kind of weird strands of hair that don't really like get curled because something happened or I don't know something didn't go right, but I just go back and do it again. And sometimes you have to clamp harder on some pieces. tutorial does not take that long it's just super easy like get out of the shower blow dry your hair come out here with your straightener and just 180 that and pull it 
you got a curl. Like, it's so easy, especially with this length of hair. If you have long hair, it's going to take you a long time. If you have thick hair, it's going to take you a long time. My hair is not that thick, and it's not long at all. Um, my hair is at about collarbone-ish length right now. And then, once you have these curls in, like, honestly, they last a good amount of days. Yeah, I have to touch them up and stuff. That is it on this side. This piece of hair. What the heck? Then, for the front pieces. So, I do something different with these front pieces. I wear a middle part. So as much of a middle part as I can wear you know sometimes it's not all middle so with this front side I kind of tuck the already curled side or like section behind my ear so that I can just be focused on this and then I section my hair off and I pull everything to the side because I want to just focus on this piece Okay, my camera stopped recording. I don't know where it stopped at, but you definitely want this section to be a little bit more bouncier and definitely a little bit more um, tighter than the rest of the sections. So then we pull that back. Then we take this little section and we're really just going to start like halfway by my cheekbone and just pull it down. Bye. So it's a little bit less starting up here and starting more lower so we have this and why i like doing this if you guys can tell um it adds just more umph to the front of your curls and it also um, makes more emphasis around your face so <clears throat> it adds a little more volume up here and it also adds that big tight curl it adds this little dimension so that when you curl your this piece of hair that we curled down here, it kind of just flows into it, but it adds more bounce up front. So it looks like you have more volume. That's what I've experienced. We're going to do the same with the other side. So I'll show you because I think the camera cut off. But so we're going to tuck this piece, this section that we already curled behind our ear. And we're going to take this section of straight hair. I also have no makeup on. I probably look like a dead person right now. It's okay. So this section is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this and curl it back like we normally do with all of the other hair that we just curled. And then I'm going to tuck that behind my ear. And then I'm going to take this bigger section of hair and I'm going to start like way up here and start curling up there and I'm gonna make it a tighter curl like so and I have to always curl the bottom of this curl because I can never get it to go but so this curl is way tighter and way curlier than the other one it kind of starts up up top a little bit more then with this front section we are gonna start it at my cheekbone and curl it down so, like I said with the other side, it makes you look like you've got more hair up front. Like so. So, when you pull everything forward, it looks like you've got more pieces of hair up here. And I have learned that doing that little piece in the front just adds a little more dimension and stuff to your face which just looks I think it looks better on me than just having it all one level of curliness and especially since my hair is all one length I like to add some more dimension some texture so it doesn't look like it's just all one big curl I'm just gonna finish it off with some hairspray okay so I'm back with my hairspray but I'm also back with this is like my favorite secret weapon ever um, this is called the frizz ease secret weapon Wow, okay. Um, touch up cream. Um, it's by John Frieda. So I love this stuff. It's literally amazing. Um, it helps with my fryways and my frizz up here. I get so much frizz. It also helps you um, de static. So in Colorado, we wear a lot of layers because it's cold. <laughs> and sometimes our sweaters get really, my sweaters get really like staticky from like taking off coats and putting on coats and scarves and stuff so my hair will get super staticky so I will literally bring this to school with me some days and put this on because it literally just helps like de-static, de-frizz, like everything 
Oh, excuse me. So, I literally put like, especially right after my hair's done, but I literally put like this much on. Don't do a lot. Rub it in. And I just kind of zhuzh it on like this. And then I just kind of like put it all through the front pieces of my hair. And yeah, the ends too. But mostly on top of my head because that's where all of the frizziness comes from. Redken Forceful 23 Hairspray. This is a super strength hairspray. Love this stuff. Literally amazing. My mom got me on this stuff and I've just used it ever since. Um, but yeah, so I hairsprayed the hell out of my hair because, you know, we can never have too much hairspray. But I love doing this hairspray trick. Learned it from dance. But basically, what I do... I don't know if y'all do this too. It's probably not even like a new trick. I'm probably just like, hey, look at my new trick. Uh, but I love like pulling up my head and curling or hairspraying like inside of my hair and my head. So I kind of zhuzh it up, pull it up so that there's more volume to my head. Get the back, get the front. And then I do my hairline to make sure that the frizziness stays down. Okay. Perfect. And yeah guys, that is how I curl my hair. I'm gonna do some close-ups for y'all. but that is that is it for now guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like me and you liked this video please smash that like button I appreciate it more than you know if you guys like me and you like watching my videos please subscribe down below there should be a subscribe button right down there um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week goodbye